Welcome to StraightUpLearning.com. By default, Microsoft Word automatically allows your text to flow onto the next page. However, if you want to force text onto a next page, you can insert what's called a page break. To do so, first thing we're going to do is place our cursor where we want to break our page at. So let's say we want to break our cursor here where it says Washington presided over the Constitutional Convention. So we're going to click there. And once we do, I want to insert a page break to break up these two paragraphs and to put this second paragraph on another page. So to do so, I'm going to press my keyboard keys. I'm going to choose Control Enter, and some people may call that as Control Return. As I've done that, you'll notice now, now that that paragraph now is always on another page, and we can see on our status that is bar, 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 bar. It's now on page two. And if I scroll up here first paragraph is still up there on a page all by itself. I'm going to undo this for a second just to show you guys something else. Now we use a shortcut key such as control enter to create a page break but you can also use your menu toolbar where you can come up here to insert and there's an option here for page break and you get the same exact result. We can also create another type of page break but this one is called a section break which allows you to separate your document into different sections. With a section break you can have part of your document containing one type of page numbering such as Arabic numbering then you can have another part containing Roman numeral. You can even have one part of your document which will print in portrait and another part that will print in landscape. To achieve this effect you're going to want to insert what's called a section break. To do that we're going to navigate to the page layout menu and from the page layout menu under the page setup ribbon we have the breaks option. If I click on that drop down we'll see the first option for page which is the same as your regular page break which is your control enter. We're going to navigate down here to section breaks and we're going to select next page. So my cursor is on that second paragraph still and I want to create a section break for a next page. I'm going to click, click on it and when I do that paragraph is moved over to the next page but notice this on the status bar you have page two or three but notice, but notice this, 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 this. if we navigate up to this document and I click in the first paragraph we'll notice we're on page one of three but the section now reads as section one you can delete a page break or a section break by first turning on your show hide button which can be found in the paragraph ribbon and looks like a paragraph marker. So if we click on this guy right here, when you click on your show hide button just as a note of reference all of your formatting marks will appear which will have your tabs, your spaces and paragraph marks but also your page breaks. So for example we just turned ours on and as you can see we have a formatting mark here that shows us it's a section break next page. To delete that all we need to do is just click on it and press the delete key on our keyboard and that page break and or section break will be deleted. Thank you for attending. For additional courses, visit us at straightuplearning.com or contact us at 704-909-6139.